Hey guys, welcome to the Hacked Existence tutorial on how to add war driving capabilities to the Flipper Zero. So by the end of this video, I'll show you guys how to take the Wi-Fi Dev Board Pro along with the GPS expansion from Just Call Me Coco. We'll wire those together, slap it on top of the Flipper, and then we can control it from the Marauder app. Basically, this lets us run the Marauder firmware that's controlled via GPIO coming off the top of the Flipper. And it'll enable us to do this war driving option where when we're war driving, all of the logs will get stored directly to this micro SD you can pull that out, upload those log files directly to wiggle.net straight away without any massaging, which is really nice. And the reason I chose this is because of the form factor, right? I really like the ability to remove the antenna and this thing will still fit in my pocket. A lot of the devices coming out now are huge, massive, have a ton of antennas. This thing still fits in your pocket. So I've chosen to go with this as my war driving de facto setup for war driving with the Flipper Zero. And the reason we need this expansion is because the Flipper Zero was never meant for this. It's meant to be a sub gigahertz machine. So we needed to add this ESP32 board to get it up into the 2.4 gigahertz range along with GPS to make it location aware to give it everything we need to be able to war drive. So let's jump in. All right, here's our bill of materials. We're gonna start with the Wi-Fi Dev Board Pro. I got this on JustCallMeCocoLLC.com for 40 bucks. Along with that, I picked up the GPS expansion board. That was another 21 bucks. It came with the wires, the top case, and mounting screws, and the GPS antenna. That was $21, so I'm into the $61 plus shipping. And basically, the Wi-Fi Dev Board Pro sticks right on top of the GPIO socket on top of the Flipper Zero. Gives you a nice solid mount there and it's got an external antenna that you can throw on there. Basically, this is an ESP32 based chipset that adds 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi to the Flipper Zero. It ships with the Marauder firmware preloaded. The problem with using it for war driving is that it is not location aware. That's why we need the $21 GPS add-on. This is an ATGM 336H chipset, and it comes with a new top piece that's gonna replace the existing one after we add the board by soldering it with these four wires and stuffing the GPS antenna into the little cutout for it here. So we'll begin by disassembling the one, two, three, four, five screws out of the Wi-Fi Dev Board Pro. All right, next we're gonna strip both ends of all four wires. All right, now I'll use the soldering iron to tin all the tips. All right, now on the bottom side of the GPS board here, I'm gonna tin these four pads. I'm gonna do red to 3.3, black to ground. I'll do blue to TX and green to RX. All right, now that our GPS board is all prepared, we're going to solder it to the DevBoard Pro. We're gonna do the black ground to the ground pin here. We're gonna do the red 3.3 to the 3.3 pin here. TX, which is blue, is gonna to go to pin 21, and RX, which is green, is gonna to go to pin 17. So let's get those soldered up. And one quick note is we want the wires coming off the top of the board facing out. All right, now that our boards are all wired up, we're gonna to begin to prepare the top plate. And we're gonna do that by starting with popping out this uh, light peg, and we're gonna push that into the new one from the top. All right, next we're going to install the GPS antenna, and we're gonna do it so that the wire aligns to the channel. And we'll run that wire through the channel. All right, now with our wire all nice and snug, we'll plug in the IPEX connector. and we'll drop the board in so it fits nice and flush there. Next, we'll install the dev board back into its enclosure. We'll plug the external antenna adapter back in. We'll make sure this tab goes underneath here. And now I'm gonna flip this over and we'll screw in that bottom screw. Now with our dev board all back in place and the antenna wires all tucked away, I'm gonna twist this to bind these up together so it makes a nice clean install. And now I'll put the two halves together. Now we can drive our four screws back in. All right, now with our DevBoard Pro all put back together, we can stick the antenna on. We'll plug it into the flipper and we'll fire it up. 
All right, so now to see this in action, we're gonna go into apps, we're gonna go down to GPIO, we'll go down to the ESP32 Wi-Fi Marauder, and we're gonna view the log from the end, and then I'm gonna hit the reset button on the top, and we'll see the log start to spray. We'll see GPS attached successfully in our log. So now our flipper is location aware of where it's at on the globe. We can slam a micro SD in here and start war driving. So as always, stay tuned and thanks for watching.